There it is, my Yamaha XT250 Dual Sport. Check it out in all its glory. I love it when it's parked this way. Handlebars cocked to the right. I am going to put on a bash plate, a skid plate on the bottom of it. Another thing I'm gonna put on is a luggage rack. Another thing I'm doing to it is I'm putting on the spokes. These little blue straws in Yamaha blue. Check that out. Here's what they look like for like 10 bucks at Amazon. And they're little straws. They're split down the middle and they wrap around the spokes. And you just have to trim them to length. Real easy to apply. You'll screw up the first one. Probably cut it too long and that's not really a screw up because you can cut it again. Or you'll cut it short. You'll get it right after two or three of them, at least I did. So here is the luggage rack and the bash plate. The bash plate comes from a place online called Ricochet Off-Road Armor. Now there's a lot of guys who want these bash plates to have holes in them so that air can flow through. But I think holes in them also let rocks and other shit flow through. So I wanted a solid one. It seems to be really well built and only holds on with four hex head bolts and some washers. And of course, I'm going to put blue Loctite on those bolts. And then as for the luggage wrap, that came from bikeweb.net Japan. I think this thing cost me $135 and $35 of that was shipping. I ordered it one day and four days later by FedEx, it was at my house in Texas. I couldn't believe that. They had shipping costs all the way up to like $72 and I can't see paying $72 and it getting here any faster. For $35, bucks, it got to me in four days from the other side of the world. I got that Yamaha Blue Factory paint because this bike has no Yamaha blue on it. And that's why I'm putting these straws on the spokes of the rims. And when it comes to painting things Yamaha blue, I'm going to do subtle things. I'm not going to go all crazy on Yamaha blue. I'm going to paint this plate here on the side, Yamaha blue. I'm going to leave the fender alone. I'm going to leave this and the cowl around the headlight black. I'm going to paint this little protector on the rear disc brake Yamaha blue. Let's see what else that I'm going to paint Yamaha blue. The same kind of plate on this side of the bike. Anything that's small, I'm going to paint Yamaha blue. Just subtle. Simplicity is beauty. I'm thinking right now that it might be too much to paint that chain guard. It wouldn't be bad to paint this Yamaha blue. Things greasy on the back from the chain. And that'll be really cool. And so far on this motorcycle, all I've had to carry stuff around on is bungee cord with grab handles. I have taken my laptop computer case, but that laptop computer case comes up to about here. And I'm sitting a little bit too forward on the bike computer case on there. I don't like the comfort of that. So the luggage rack is going to be real cool. So here is what the luggage rack will look like on this motorcycle. I bought this one because it has things like little tie downs where you can put other stuff on it. The only bad thing about all of these luggage racks is that they all eliminate the grab handles on the rear end. And I'm going to tell you what, you use these grab handles to manipulate this bike around to drag it around in your driveway. Well, the other thing I'm gonna do is put a stupid little plastic milk crate on here. I might buy one of these in Yamaha Blue. I know it looks silly, I know it looks crappy, but it's gonna do. And I can put a bungee cord net over the top of it to hold shit in. I can carry gas, I can carry a tackle box, I can carry anything I want to inside this. That's gonna be cool. I don't need anything fancy. This ID card holder here, it's got a flap and it's got a method to tie it on. I'm gonna tie it right there onto the handlebar. So it'll face down like that with some uh, picture hanging wire on the back. The reason I need that is because I go on and off Fort Hood, Texas, and I need quick access to my ID. It's either here or here. With my left hand, I have the best access to it. I can maintain a hold on my right brake or maintain a hold on the rear brake while I got my foot down on the left hand side and manipulate that and pull my ID out of it with my left hand.